Hi everyone. Recently, a few people emailed me and asked me about, Hey, Dr. Lau, our company is going to start a data analytics project. How do I go about planning it and set the milestones? So today, we are going to talk about this question. Now, first of all, the main reason is because many people learn data science from different sources. Some of you learn from online courses, some of them pick up from books. But what they did not really get is how to plan for a data science project. What I usually teach my students in a data science program is to use the Awesome Framework. Awesome Framework is a pipeline that data scientists follow when we handle a data science project. The very first step in the Awesome Framework is obtain data. You obtain data from data sources such as static files like CSV, Excel, and PDFs. After we have obtained the data, we'll proceed to scrub, which is to clean our data. The truth is, data scientists spend about 60% of our time on cleaning data. Data never comes in clean format. You're always faced with issues like missing data, inconsistent formats such as dates, addresses, or misspell of names. So we need to clean those data using scripts and our domain knowledge to make sure that the data is clean before we can analyze it. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. Always aim for clean data even though the data set might be smaller. It's still better than large data set that contains a lot of noise. I know that by now, you are quite anxious that we are almost halfway, but we still haven't gotten to the sexy part of like machine learning and predictive modeling. Right, be patient. High quality data always beats fancy machine learning models and algorithms. After we have cleaned our data, we'll proceed to explore data. Here, we'll use statistical methods such as average and standard deviations, or charts like histogram, scatterplot, and box plot to help us to visualize the trends, identify outliers, and detect any other interesting patterns. Exploring data helps us to gain a good understanding with our data, to confirm our hypotheses, and whether it aligns with our business questions or not. Once you are happy with the data exploration results, we can finally start to build our models. Modeling is the stage where we use supervised learning methods like regressions, decision trees, or key nearest neighbors to make predictions. Of course, we can also use unsupervised methods like clustering, association, rule mining to find similar items and their groupings, such as what are the items that are bought together in the shopping carts or what movies should you recommend to your viewers? Lastly, we have reached the interpret stage where we need to explain our models and results to non-technical laymen like your stakeholders and bosses. This stage does not require too much of the technical skills, but rather you need to have a good understanding about the entire project from business questions, impact, potential outcomes, and of course, the cost of actions that needs to be taken. Okay, so what I've presented here are the typical steps that data scientists follows in the data science project. And since it is a framework, you may use it as a guideline with your favorite tools. I hope that you learned something today. Feel free to leave a message if you have any questions or feedback. Share this video with a friend who are currently learning data science or anyone that might find this useful. Don't forget to like the videos Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more videos like this and I will see you in the next one.